Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So this is my last video, probably my last video, um, before Halloween. So I decided to do something a little bit different than a Halloween makeup look because I've already got like seven videos out already for you guys to watch just from this year alone and there's so many in past years that I've done. So in today's video, I am collaborating with Mr. Goo Goo and Miss Go. I have collaborated with them two times before. I absolutely love their clothing. You guys know like how much I love like original prints and like scary things and unique designs. This brand is all about that. They are all about their unique fashion. Like there's all original prints. They've got a lot of cool styles for Halloween as well. Um, but they've also just got a whole bunch of cool styles in general that aren't Halloween related. Anyway, you can use my code Alicia15 to get you 15% off the website, which is really exciting. So when you go to shop, all your things in your shopping cart at the end, when you go to pay, it will say um, like there's a discount code section and you just put the code Alicia15 in there and it will apply the 15% discount overall on your order. So that is really cool. 15% off is quite generous and it will make a big difference, especially if you're ordering like a few things. So I thought I'd do a cool little Halloween haul. I've never done one of these before and I know a lot of you guys, like you always plan on your makeup and like what to do, but we never really think about what we're going to wear for Halloween, um, so I thought this video would be perfect for you guys. If you don't watch this in time before Halloween, um, then at least this video is up forever and you can plan on your next year's Halloween outfits. But like I said, Mr. Goo Goo and Miss Go don't just have Halloween things on there. Like, they have so many cool, epic designs. Here are a few examples. I have done some videos with them in the past and you guys seem to love how cool and creative and funny their things are like it's definitely going to turn heads um, and make people look and be like oh that's that's quite cool kind of thing um, so yeah I love Mr. Google Must Go Fashion and I'm so excited to collaborate with them in today's video I'm quite liking my hair slicked back like this I think it's just like so easy because it's like out of my face and it looks so like fresh and clean and just out of the way and I have been really liking it I've I've just been using this like clip here to just tie it all up together. Perfect when you haven't washed your hair or your hair's messy as you just literally shove it up and slick it back. So the first one I have is called the Pumpkin Face T-shirt and this one is really cool. Um, we have a Halloween dress up day at my work because I work in early childhood for three days a week as well. A few of you guys didn't know that but I'm sure the kids are going to love it. Um, the kids are going to love these things. Some of them are a little bit spooky, so I'm definitely going to wear this. I think this is perfect because it's not too scary and obviously the Halloween pumpkin is quite iconic to Halloween. So this is the first shirt. So everything is like so well made as you can see here. Like everything is hemmed and so on like really well and it's just so comfortable these t-shirts. I really like them. So soon I'm going to stand up and show you what it looks like, but it is so cool. I love the faces. There is like literally faces everywhere on this. It is so cool. And I like to tuck my t-shirt in my jeans or my shorts. I don't really like having it hang out. Or I do that thing where you tie up your t-shirt in a little top knot, um, which are, which looks quite cool as well. Sometimes I've been thinking, I'm thinking I want to make only in my memory. So I definitely think I'm going to wear this one for my work Halloween dress up day. Um, the kids are going to love this and it's not like too spooky but it is quite cool. So the next one is the black and white ghost t-shirt. So they come in like these little bags like this and everything has tags on it and little labels which is really cool. I love that detail. As you guys know with other hauls I've done in the past that that is important to me like all of them have like these tags here and like this big tag hanging off it here and on the back it says Mr. Google and Miss Go we're making the world really colorful the original all over prints so I love this one this is really cool this one kind of inspired me to do a Halloween makeup look that looks like this. So here it is. This one is really cool. It's got ghosts all over. Like I said, you don't even have to wear these for Halloween. Like you could literally just wear this when it's not Halloween. Like 
if you're a spooky lover like me and you love things like ghosts, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And I think the pattern's quite cool anyway. Like, this stands out and looks really cool. Imagine this tied up in a top knot with, like, some denim jeans. I think that'll look really cool. So, I really like this one. Um, and I do like t-shirts tied up, so... I might do that, but yeah, look at that. This one stands out a lot. This is definitely something you'll wear and people will be like, oh, what is she wearing? Like, it'll make people look twice. Um, which is what I love about their clothing. Literally everything that you wear from them, people will look twice and like really observe what you're wearing. So I'm gonna try this one on and show you what it looks like. I'm already starting to love this top already. I definitely liked this one tied up in a top. Not more, I think it wasn't so like, so much in your face and it just looked really cute, like with a little bit of tummy showing. The next one I have is the bloody sweater. So this is a cotton sweater. I did get a size small. Sorry if I sound a bit like blocked up, it's cause I am. I've been sick for the last like two weeks, but a lot of kids at work have been coming in sick and coughing all over me. So yay, that's fun. Um, so I'm getting sick again. Anyway, this is the next one. So I wanted to get a sweater because I know it's like warmer coming up, but I think this looks really cool and I do like long sleeve things as well. This is scary, like look at this. This would be good for any Halloween costume. Like I'm so unsure on what to wear like on the weekend because we're going out on Saturday. I know it's like level two, but me, me and my friend are just gonna drink at her flat and her flatmates are bringing their friends over and we're just gonna like do some cool makeup and then we might go out afterwards and show everyone our cool makeup. So bloody handprints everywhere all over this jumper and I think this looks really cool. Like as soon as I saw this I was like yes it is so Halloween like I love this. So, so I'm looking at the back here and it says 70% cotton and 30% polyester. So that's what it's made out of. It feels really warm. Um, but it's not like too hot. So anyway, I'm gonna try this on and show you what this looks like. Okay, so I really liked this jumper. I think this will suit my bloody hands smudged makeup look which is this one here this one did really well on instagram this year um i think this outfit would be perfect doing a makeup look like that and that makeup look doesn't take long i do have a tutorial on my youtube channel from last year so just type up alicia jones soul snatcher and it should come up if you want to wear this with that kind of makeup look when i saw this next one on the website i was like i have to have that because i know a lot of Girls and guys both love this movie. I forgot what it was called, but this is called the Skellington T-shirt. And I think this one is like a really cute T-shirt. This is what it looks like. There's a skeleton with bats flying and there's like a cat on the tree and the moon. And this one isn't like super creepy, but it's still like quite cool. Like you'll know you're Wearing it for Halloween and the same image is on the back which is really cool. I like it's on the back as well. I think that is really cool. Now I don't know if I should wear this or that pumpkin one. But I do know the pumpkin one stands out a little bit more so I might wear that for my work dress up day. I'm going to try this one on and show you what this one looks like. So anyway, the next one I have is another sweater. So this is called the Kiss Me Sweater. And when I saw it, I thought it looked really creepy. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I would love wearing this like not even on Halloween as well. This is quite cool. I love this. Okay, so this says Kiss Me and it's got like a creepy mask and like Oh my gosh, that gives me so much Halloween inspo. Like, there's like gaps in the eyes, and it says kiss me. That, oh, that is cool. I should do a recreation of that for Halloween. I'm probably too late now. What annoys me though in this jumper, for some reason, there's like little white specks everywhere. Like, I don't know if you can see. 
you probably can't there's white specks everywhere it's like part of the cotton oh there we go there's like white specks all throughout it so that just is a little bit weird that kind of annoys me because it kind of looks like you've got dandruff all over your shirt <laughs> but other than that i really like the colors really cool tones like black and then it goes to red and then it's got the same kiss me on the back so that is really cool and i love this I'm going to try this one on and show you what this one looks like. The next one, oh my gosh, this is like such a throwback. So I did this makeup look and it was all inspired from this t-shirt from Mr. Google and Miss Go because... I actually chose these things way before I did that makeup look and I was hoping that these things would get to me way earlier but they got stuck in the mail. Um, hence why I'm doing this video so late, so close to Halloween. So so I apologize if you really wanted to get these things um, before this Halloween but unless you live in Poland and have like express shipping then I don't think these things are going to get to you on time because shipping usually takes like a week and a half. But that makeup look was all inspired by this shirt so it's so weird seeing it in person. You will know instantly as soon as you see that. Like, I think I did a pretty good job at recreating this t-shirt. Like, it looks, like, exactly like my face, which is crazy. Um, and it's got, like, Chinese or Japanese writing, like, all over the t-shirt. Um, but I think this looks really cool. And this is what inspired a makeup look. So, that is really cool. I'm going to try this one on and show you what this one looks like. So they also take the piss out of like cartoon characters and stuff like that on their website like through their designs which I think is so funny. This one is kind of like taking the piss out of Mickey Mouse so this is called the Scary Mouse t-shirt um, and when I saw this I was like that is so cool. I think this is meant to be Mickey Mouse but like inside so it's like his skeleton so here it is look how cool that is it's a Scary Mouse and on the front it's like him but his skeleton underneath and then at the back is like the back of his skeleton how funny is that i reckon that is so funny like at the back it's a front and then that's the back of his skeleton i think that is really cool i've never seen anything like this i do really like these colors as well like with the gray and the yellow and the black I think that looks really cool. Um, I wish I could do a makeup look like this on my face. See, all of these t-shirts are like really inspiring me. A classic, so I'm going to try this on and show you what this one looks like. I definitely love this t-shirt. I think it is one of my favorites purely because it is so like colorful. I love the picture and just, yeah, the patterns and just the color wave. I love the bright yellow. Um, Matthew made a point saying that it would probably glow under a black light, like all the yellow, which is so true because it's like fluoro. So I think that's going to look really cool. Um, so the next thing I have is called the Red King of Skull sweater. So this one's not really scary, but it is kind of like on that Halloween theme um and you can wear this like like i said any time of year and when i showed matthew this one he liked this one the best from what i chose i think he'd wear something like this as well this looks really cool um i definitely see myself wearing this one a lot because it's not too out there but it is like really cool so as you can see it's like all red furry like galaxy pattern i love that and then there's the king of hearts there and it's literally like a skeleton king i think that looks so cool i love this as soon as i saw it um and the back has the same thing on it um the king oh my goodness i think that is so cool i love this color right down to the arms and i think this one looks really cool i'm gonna love wearing this one and i know a lot of you guys will like this one as well so i'm gonna try this one on and show you what this one looks like
like I just really like this one. It's one of my favorites as well. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this Mr. Gugu and Miss Go haul. I really enjoyed filming it for you guys. Hopefully you find something that you like, not only just for Halloween, like maybe in the next coming years, but also just anything in general on their website. Um, and even these things you can wear, like not on Halloween. This clothing will definitely make heads turn, like it will capture people's attention and you're bound to get many compliments when you wear these things. Remember you can use the code Alicia15 for 15% off so I hope you guys enjoy that code. Let me know if you buy anything down below in the comments. I'd love to know what you guys purchased from their website. Anyway if I don't have another video up before Halloween then I want to say I hope you guys have a fun and safe night and you're able to do something and even if you are in lockdown like just do some makeup and make the most of it. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't celebrate Halloween either, but I know um, I have a huge US audience and a lot of you guys celebrate it like big time in America. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorials over the year of 2021. Um, it's always like so time consuming doing lots of Halloween stuff, but I feel like I want to keep up with it because you guys have loved seeing it on Instagram. Those kind of posts always do so well on my Instagram and on TikTok so I might keep up with the momentum of doing those kind of things. Maybe not so scary all the time but definitely like heaps of creative looks. For you all. Anyway have fun, don't forget to keep tagging me in your Halloween recreations. I have loved seeing them this year and I just did a post yesterday on my Instagram story saying like this is the most like ever recreated year ever for me. Like there's been hundreds of recreations of my looks and it's so heartwarming like I absolutely love seeing your makeup looks and the fact that you guys have been inspired by my artwork just means so much to me. Like I just really love that and makes me realize like why I love what I do and why I do what I do because it obviously inspires others and you guys give it a go even when some of you guys are like complete beginners and you master the look and you're so proud of it like that. That is so cool. I, I really like that and um, yeah, you don't have to go and pay someone because you can just do it yourself and just follow along with my tutorials. Um, so yeah, I thank you guys so much for recreating my looks and tagging me. I have been sharing them yesterday and I'm going to share your looks right up until Sunday because Halloween is on the 31st for us here in New Zealand um, on Sunday. So I'm going to go out on Saturday. So yeah, anyway, I just want to add that in there. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you on my next week's video. Bye.